Okay, now I understand why no one liked this episode. Hey guys, so this is my review for episode 7 of Stranger Things Season 2, and yeah, it's as bad as everyone says it is. It's just a terribly placed episode. Not like what happened in it wasn't exactly that bad, but basically with just how much of a cliffhanger episode 6 ends on, and then you literally put a giant freaking pad, a big fat boot, on the brake, and you stop it for a full 45, technically a full 45 minutes. You stop the story's progress entirely. You know what you could have done? You, you could have done is you removed all that useless padding of all the memories and just how Eleven came to live with the sheriff and all that shit that was completely well drawn out, over drawn out. You could have cut down the extremely drawn out part with her mother and you could have twirled this into episode 6. However, episode 6 has such a great flow to it, you couldn't have done it. So literally they were thrown into a issue of which they could not could not avoid. This was episodes, it's obviously going to be something that will happen later on either in this season or in, ep in, the, in the third season, but it is an unfortunate necessity, but either way it's literally just a Magneto origin story meh from first class. The whole scene with her moving the train, I was like, yeah, this is this is first class. However, I did find it interesting that the number eight is telling her to kind of give into her anger, which is like given to the dark side. So I thought that was kind of interesting from a different way of taking on uh, using your strengths because for how Professor X, what he told Magneto was to hold on to good memories and use that. Don't use the anger because that will only get you so far. If you use good memories, that will make you stronger. So. I thought that was interesting. Otherwise, though, nothing really happens. Yeah, they're going after people who are associated with what happened. That was kind of interesting. Uh, however, uh, Eleven's bad boy or bad girl look, it made her look like a boy. It was really weird. I didn't think it worked well at all. And But then the whole aspect of what they're doing and then how number eight was saying that we have to go after Papa, which is weird because he totally got eaten by that Demogorgon. It jumped on his face and ate him in the first season. If he isn't alive, that's bullshit. He is dead. They're gonna, if they probably are, they're gonna come up with some ridiculous bullshit. Some supernatural stupid bullshit of how he's gonna come back to life, but otherwise he should be fucking dead. But overall, no one likes this episode for obvious reasons. It puts a giant break on the entire story. It uh, kind of delves with characters that you're not truly interested in, and it just continues on with this whole train of not-so-interesting story of Eleven. However, now that she is finally going back to Hawkins, maybe we will actually be invested in her character again. And it's such a shame because the last episode was so good, you then, basically you could tell everyone, hey, when you're watching season two of Stranger Things, don't watch episode seven, there's no point. However, despite the fact that it does stop the episode entirely, I do feel it was a decently made episode. I like the aspects of eight and 11 going back and forth, just kind of talking about what they went through and just the connection they share. And I did enjoy the aspects of what they're doing. Like I said, just not the best executed and just terribly placed. So in the end, episode 7 of Stranger Things gets a 3 out of 7. So now I'm um, on to the last two episodes, finally. So we're going to see what happens with this. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this review. I'm still leaving links at the end to, if you want to help uh, Victor Lucas in EP Daily. You can check out his channel and maybe sponsor him. Otherwise, if you guys like this video, leave a like, maybe subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.